Confusion and uncertainty are the solutions. We didn't anticipate a crisis. We didn't see it to come. And when it arrived, it arrived. That the economy is very weak. The politicians couldn't come up with one unified solution. The whole focus was on production. And when the global economic recession came, it came all of a sudden, very deep and very big. The priorities become food, electricity, and healthcare. The new car can wait. I don't think anyone would have wanted to go through what we've been through over the last year. I think it's reminded us all that the unexpected can happen. I am seeing a few green shoots, but it's a little bit too early to say exactly how they'll grow. Nobody really predicted it. Uh, you lost a little bit of faith in how well you were able to understand what was going on in the marketplace. I feel absolutely convinced that we are going to get this economy back on track. This crisis was very unexpected. Personally, it was very tough. It was very challenging. A lot of hard decisions had to be taken, like production cut, layoffs, cost reduction. It tested us, me as a CEO, and Arsul Mittal as an organization. We had, of course, a strategy. We did a lot of things internally in terms of cost cutting, debt reductions, in terms of reducing our productions to make sure that investors follow us. We never expected that we could reduce our fixed cost by $10 billion. One fourth of that is sustainable. We had to quickly adapt ourselves to lower levels of production, lower levels of operations, and also, of course, had to go through a lot of cost reduction measures. It's been a period of a lot of uncertainty as all our customers have wound down inventory. We've made a, a big push on stopping projects, on cutting costs, managing cash. Some hard decisions were made to, to stop temporarily a lot of blast furnaces, and stopping a blast furnace is always a complicated operation with a lot of risks. To stop a blast furnace, it's, it's really like stopping a heart. You see the energy flowing away, it's, it's it's a very hard situation. It's the heart of every steel plant without hot metal. You cannot produce steel. Last year, the, the key priority we had to adapt to the situation was to cut the fixed cost of the company. And as 50% of the fixed cost are people cost, we used a variable pay reduction, temporary layoff, short weeks, and all those measures that were necessary to adapt to the level of activity in, in the site. This was not easy. Remember we had the, this demonstration during the General Assembly of ArcelorMittal. This was difficult. We worked with the trade unionists to manage the situation and to understand the context. What Harcelor Missile has done, if you look back, um, is that they've cut output quite savagely in many of their plants. They've also reduced the pressures on their balance sheet by raising some money from the capital markets to ease some of their debt problems. They'll be thinking to themselves, well, we've come through this phase of the crisis reasonably well. Though we are out of the crisis, but the progress in 2010 is going to be slow. Though the start is slow, there is recovery. I'm very happy the way Arstromittal handled the crisis in 2009. We have made a lot of achievements, and that I would call a success. Were they the right decisions? Ultimately, were they going in the right direction to pull the company through this? Yes, they were. And I do believe that people understand that and they see that, but at the same time, they now want to see a reversal of some of those decisions which were presented as temporary, that the organization feels as if it's getting back to a more normal way of operating, even though obviously the difficult challenges remain. One year after the crisis started, we have investors which are ready to invest in this company for the next 30 years. We have made the system much more efficient. We have made the decision making much more faster. We have empowered people at the various different levels in the organizations in a difficult condition, in the most difficult conditions, given the right directions and setting the right targets. People are there to achieve it, and they did it.